So I got a story, y'all. Oh my God. So my throat is like, it's not, it's, I don't know what is going on. I don't know what I need. I really, maybe the Lord, I don't know. But I thought that since I wasn't feeling good, I was gonna tell you guys a story. Let's keep in mind, it was three in the morning. I'm on my way to this airport. So first of all, this man is so nice helping me get my suitcase and everything in the car. He's nice, he came out, he put it in the trunk, cause my thing was heavy. I didn't know it was gonna be that heavy when I lifted it up. So he's real nice to me. The issue was, he was too nice. First of all, we're driving, there's nobody else on the road, so automatically I'm like, oh, I'm a little scared. Maybe I should have walked to the airport. Oh. I just need to stop for some gas. <laughs> This is what happens in the movie. Why me? So on the way to the gas station, I was FaceTiming my brother. I was blogging me scared. I was waving my hands on the screen. And so he goes, what are you doing? Oh, no, nothing. I was, I was just, yeah, I was just untangling my headphones. I thought he was about to like pull his knife out and just go, mm -hmm. You want to record on my Uber? You're going to die. Yeah. Okay, to prevent all of that, <laughs> just gonna say I was untangling my headphones. Uh, so as soon as he hops out, I FaceTime my brother. I sent him my location. I sent him all this stuff, y'all. He was knocking on the gas station door, and I remember the janitor was in there cleaning with his headphones in. And there was another man outside the gas station, and they kind of shook hands, kind of like they were passing, you know, drugs. Because if that's what's happening, I don't want to be in this car. Like, you can let me, I, I can call another one. I can walk to the airport. He comes back in the car, and when he got in the car, y'all, he got in his car so fast. Y'all, he started to like fiddle with his pockets. Okay, let 50 notches, let's take it down. My stomach dropped, y'all. I've never felt my stomach drop like that. Except when, you know, somebody asked me, do I want to get on a roller coaster? Because I don't like roller coaster parts, except for the funnel cake. Because funnel cake, oh, wait, back on top of it, back on top of it. He starts driving off real fast, fondling, with fondling, fendling. I don't know what to call it with his pocket. On the way there, he calls, like, I'm guessing his baby mama. Somebody need to pick her up in the morning. Pick her up from school. It's three in the morning. Can't y'all do this later? He dropped me off at the wrong, I don't even know, terminal. But I was really about to cry. I'm lost in this airport. I was really about to cry because I just spent all that money. And, you know, my pockets was hurting. You know, everything turned out fine. And then I ended up in the airport. I didn't die. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little story. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on all of my social medias, which are down below. All right, guys. I will see you guys on Saturday with a brand new video. Video. <laughs> I just got so frustrated. Bad. I can't. Why? Who make? Who got me sick? Who did it? I kind of got out of breath. Ooh, let me take a moment. <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs>